Here's a quick must-know tip for voiceover artists who have got Windows computers. When you get sent your script, it'll come or should come with instructions from the client as to how to pronounce names and acronyms, what words need to be emphasized and so on. So you need to mark up your script, all right? So ideally, the client has sent you a Microsoft Word document you can adapt. So when you're in the voice booth, you can read out the pronunciation that you like to know it, written out syllable by syllable. You can underline things, space things out, put gaps in, all that sort of stuff. Now, if the client has sent you your script as a PDF file, it's not quite so easy. If you've got a subscription to Adobe Acrobat or even use a free online PDF to conversion service like the one on smallpdf.com, it still is a right kerfuffle, but at least you can get your PDF script into a form you can edit with your changes and you can do your things that you need to do as a professional voiceover. But if you're a Windows user like me and you get sent a script from a client who is a Mac user, and they send you a pesky dot .pages file. Yeah, you double click on the dot .pages file in Windows and it says, computer says no. Now, you don't want to sound like a loser and ask the client to take pity on you, poor window user, and please resend the voiceover script as a Word doc, do you? So here's how at least to view it, even if you actually can't edit it. You may have a few questions to ask anyway before you record it but you can't even ask questions if you can't even open the wretched file. So in Windows, you right click the pesky dot pages file and change the extension to dot zip or zip zip. Now the computer will complain about it again. Just ignore it and go ahead. Change dot pages to dot zip. Then double click the zip file to extract the innards. And here you'll find a preview dot JPEG. Sometimes there's two or three. Open up the biggest JPEG and there is a picture file of your script. Now for longer scripts, this won't work, but it's a useful workaround for short scripts for us Windows users to at least see the flipping script. You'd think by now Windows and Mac systems will be fully compatible, wouldn't you? Anyway, for more tips, tricks, and comprehensive training courses on all things voiceover and media, check out our membership site, which is voiceovermasterclass.com. Have a good day behind your microphone, and let's hope you don't get any pages files sent to you.